Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show how to create this scene where a character moves forward in the path of snow leaving the traces of path. So hope this will be useful and by the end of this tutorial if you have learned anything new from this please like the video, share the content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.9 now. Now select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's add a ground plane. So come to this add mesh select this plane. Now press S on the keyboard and simply drag your mouse left or right side just to increase the scaling of this plane. Now press tab on the keyboard to enter edit mode. Right click subdivide right click subdivide. Repeat it couple of times to get maximum number of subdivisions. I think this much of subdivisions is enough. Now again press tab on the keyboard to exit edit mode. Fine. Now let's import our 3D model with animation here. So here I will be using this Mixamo site to download the character and animation. It's free to download just we need to create an Adobe account. After that we are good to go. So from characters. We can select any of the character that you need. So here I will be using this character and after that click on this animations and from this you can select any of the animation. So first suppose if I want this animation just click on that and the character acquires that animation. Now click on this download button. Make sure that format is FBX frames per second your wish I will be leaving to 30 and download with skin and download. So once the downloading is done, now let's import that character here. So go to this file, import, since it is in FBX format, we need to select FBX and select the file where you have saved. So here I got the file here and import. So we got the character here. Now press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling if required. Now let me place it here. So if we click on this play button, you can see that we got this walking animation here. Nice. Okay. So if you want to add more 3D elements, we can do that. So I'll be adding another car model here, which is in OBJ format. So go to this file, import, wavefront OBJ. Let me select this car model, which is in object file and import. So let me increase the scaling of this plane once again press S and increase the scaling. Now click on this sculpting tab. Let me zoom out. Select this clay tool. Let me disable the symmetry option and so if you want to smooth it out press shift and hold left mouse key and simply again brush it out so you can see we are getting this mesh smoothened so once this is done now again move back to this layout option and let's move to this render viewport now the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so let's add the light so come to this world properties color and add environment texture so here i will be using some hdri image so i have downloaded free hdri image from hdri heaven so link in the description so i will be selecting this where is this snowy forest one and open image okay nice so here you can see our character has texture and this car also has this texture let me move it up a bit so now let's add some snow material to this plane. So before doing that, let's add some snow onto this car model, which can be done in few clicks by using add on. So for that, go to this edit preferences, click on this add on and look for snow. So here you can see we got this real snow option. Just enable it and save the preferences and we can close now now if we press n on the keyboard 
here we can see we got this real snow option so select the object on which you want to add the snow so here i want to add the snow on this car model so select the car model click on this real snow coverage i want to cover the of 30 percent height like 0.5 so once these parameters are set click on this add snow so this may take time here let's wait further to get completed so here you can see we got some snow on this car and if we move to this let me select this snow and if we move to this where is this shading portion we can see the material along with the nodes created so we will be using the same material for this plane also so it's better to create snow on any object by using this add-on and later we can use the same shader for this ground plane to create snow so once this snow is created on the object now let's move back to this layout now select this ground plane click on this material properties and from this drop down select the shader snow material snow so you can see here we got this snow material which was created by using add-on just click on that boom and we got our snow ready in the scene okay so here we are missing shadows so in order to create that we need to add light another light so go to this add light add sun now let me bring it here let me increase the strength to 5 just click on this light properties and increase the strength to 5 or else let me increase this to 4 4 is enough 3 ok 3 now press R on the keyboard and rotate it in this way so that we can see these shadows clearly ok fine so once this light materials everything is set now let's move back to this solid viewport now here comes the main part so now select the plane click on this physics properties select this dynamic paint so this plane it should be set to canvas and click on this add canvas scroll down and in surface type change it to displace now select the character again come to this physics properties now click on this dynamic paint but in type now select brush and add brush so i will be leaving this default settings as it is now select this car model also again apply dynamic paint and type this is also brush add brush ok so now if we play this animation you can see that the trace or the path trace are getting fine so let's move back to this first frame okay so once this is done select the ground plane scroll down to cache option it will be grayed out because we have not saved the project yet so let me save it so once the project is saved now we can use these options so come to this cache select the plane scroll down come to this cache and click on this bake all dynamics without baking this we will not get that tracing path kind of animation in render so make sure bake the dynamics bake all the dynamics here first and later render the scene so once the baking is done now let's move to this render part so let me move to this render viewport okay so in the scene currently there is no camera so we need to create a camera so go to this add select camera 
press ctrl alt 0 press n on the keyboard press n on the keyboard click on this view and lock camera to view enable it so now we can place the camera positions so once the position is set now let's move to render properties so if we click on this render properties here you can use either ev or cycles if you are using cycles render engine it will take a lot more time when compared to ev here i will be using this ev engine only so let me select this ev engine and forgot i need to hide out this armature so come to this armature and hide it out okay so that we will have only our character in render okay now enable this ambient occlusion expand it and increase the distance a bit i think 2.5 would be fine okay nice now enable screen space reflections okay so once this is done let me hide out this here so once it is done now click on this output properties currently it is in full hd resolution i will be leaving it to that only now click on this render region make sure that it is checked in here frames we can set currently it will be rendering from 1 to 250 frames okay frame rate i will be reduce this to 25 frames output folder you can select select the output folder where you want to save the rendered images okay now in file format either you can use jpeg png or else if you want to render directly in a movie format you can select this mpeg video let me show you that also so select this mpeg video encoding in container options you can select mpeg or ava format which you want to use and quality you can set lossless for better quality and this will be good for this rendering in video so here i will be rendering in images format image format so i will be selecting this jpeg file uncheck this overwrite option okay so these are the output render settings so once this is done now let's render the animation so for that go to this render and select render animation so in this way we can create this scene in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we will meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye